Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to give you a tour of the baby room that I've set up. So let's take a look. Alright, starting off, we have this beautiful lamp from Ikea that we had picked up. It's just a simple flick on and off to add some extra lighting into this beautiful nursery that we have created. Honestly, right now we don't need this lamp, so I'm going to shut it off. Alright. So this is a chest that we had picked up from Ikea. And we got them to assemble it as well. I believe it was $299 Canadian dollars. Uh, I'm going to list the exact prices of all the products in the description box below. So you guys can check that out. I believe the lamp was uh, $8.99. So that was a pretty cheap uh, deal. Cheap and best, I would say. All right, so we've got a change pad. We picked this up from Babies R Us and I picked up a nice pink velvety change pad cover to cover it up. And also I have a little change station set up here. I've got some bed wipes and I've got a waterproof change pad as well. So if I want, I can put the waterproof change pad on top of this change pad that we have set up here. Then we've got some Vaseline here and then some baby powder and some lotion. Picked up this humidifier from Babies R Us as well. This is pretty cool actually. So it projects different sceneries at night when we can turn it on. Obviously I can't show it to you guys right now because of all the daylight. And also it's a Vicks brand so if the baby is sick or whatnot, you can insert Vicks strips into this and that's going to help the baby with the congestion and the cold so this is the camera that we use uh, for the baby's room obviously this is a monitor that stays in our bedroom this is audio and video so let me just show it to you it's just a power button on top here Turn this thing on. Okay, so obviously there's no signal because the main camera itself is off. I'm not going to turn it on right now because it's going to give me an annoying beep sound and the kids are going to freak out because they're awake right now. So that's the screen. It has uh, quite a few settings here. Let me go into the settings. Okay, so. Obviously they have the power save option. You can adjust the brightness according to your liking. And back one more. So actually, this camera plays lullabies for the babies. So you don't really have to worry about playing lullabies on the phone or anywhere else because the camera does it for you. It has a bunch of lullabies. I believe three lullabies and then they have like white noise and nature sound so you can set that up as well according to baby's liking obviously every baby is different but for my babies um, I usually play a lullaby on my phone because they're kind of used to it now because we just started using this camera but at times I do try to use the lullabies in the camera itself so that's about the camera and obviously it gives you a temperature rating as well to check what the temperature is at in the baby's room. I'm gonna shut that screen off right now. So that's the camera itself. It's by Levana. That's the power switch right here. Obviously you can turn this on and then it's gonna give you like a green light here to show you that it's on. And then you can turn it off. So we have this camera on the whole night, obviously. So that's for the camera. And let's go to some accessories. So I picked up these little cute E and I alphabets from Michaels. It's an arts and crafts store here in Canada. I believe it looks pretty cute. I've actually used these in one of their monthly pictures that I take. And then we've got this cute lamp. That goes with the comforter set collection. It's the Carter's Zoo collection. 
But guess what? Babies R Us and every other store in Canada got rid of this collection for God knows what reason. Because it's such a cute collection, especially for baby girls. If you don't want to go for a typical pink look for their room. I didn't want to go for a typical pink look, so I picked up this lilac comforter set. I'm going to shut that off. They have ample lighting in their room actually because we have a corner unit and they have two floor to ceiling windows. So that's a win-win. But at times it does tend to get a little cooler because there's not enough walls in this bedroom. So we have a portable heater on here. This is pretty safe actually. Um, my husband actually picked it up from Canadian Tire. So that's just a power switch here. You can adjust the temperature here. We usually keep it on 25 Celsius. That's the rotate switch. And that's by Honeywell brand. Let's move on to the rug. So I picked up this rug from Babies R Us as well. I've ordered it online. I believe it's by Korhani. I'm going to double check that and link it up in the description box below. I believe it was 49 Canadian dollars. Again, I'm gonna check everything and make sure I list up the correct pricing in the description box underneath. Let's go to the comforter set. So this is the cute little Carter's Zoo Collection comforter set that I picked up for my babies. Since all the stores in Canada got rid of this collection, I had to really hunt it down and order it from states so i had to get the shipped from macy's they were the only place who had it um i believe bed bath and beyond had it as well but they were not shipping it to canada because they have a bunch of stores in canada as well and none of the stores in canada had this comforter set so macy's was the only store that worked out I love the detail on this comforter set. Look at those cute little ears and the tail. And there's another tail of the giraffe. So it's a nice detailed comforter set. Or a quilt. So this is the diaper stacker that came along with the set. I have some diapers in there. And then we have a bed skirt to go with it. The set came with a crib fitted sheet. So my babies, they currently use their blankets. Um, we're not using a sleep bag right now because they're kind of used to the blankets and they do pretty okay with it. So we did pick up sleeping bags from Ikea, but I realized there was zero to six months and my babies are nine months right now, so we can't really use it. And now going to the mobiles. So this mobile is obviously a part of the collection, but the mobile and the lamp actually, I picked it up from Canada. Luckily, one of the babies R Us had this in stock, so we just went to the store and picked it up. And uh, here's the switch to wind it around and then it plays. So that's the little my baby's getting excited outside there because she's hearing her music all right so this is the little storage box actually it's not little it's a big one not too big so i picked it up because i didn't want any toys to be like loitering around in the room i want everything to be nicely tucked in so i picked up a storage box um with a lid this was from Babies R Us as well. I don't remember what the price was for this, but again, I will list it all below. Right now, they have a bunch of teddy bears in this. I love teddy bears, so I believe because my babies are girls, they're gonna love snuggling with it too. And here is the other crib. It's the exact same comforter set. And... Yeah. Okay, and that's a little closet in their bedroom. I'm not gonna open it right now because it's kind of messy. I might give you a tour of their closet as well. If you guys are interested in watching it, let me know. 
And this is a little cute frame that we had picked up from Babies R Us. It lights up. Worked out perfect because I've got twin girls. All right. And last but not the least, we've got a diaper genie here in the corner. Decked away from everything else, so the smell stays away as well. And then what's good is that the baby's room has their own thermostat. So right now I have it on 87. I usually keep it high during the day because I don't turn on the portable heater. But at night we bring it down to like 80 or like 79 because the room gets quite warm then. All right, so that was that. Let me know if you guys like the little tour of the baby room. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, we've actually put in an accent wall in the room. It's a soft lilac color. It's not too bright, not too dull, just enough for my liking. So yeah, do let me know if you guys like this walk around of the little nursery that we have created for our baby girls. And uh, also list suggestions of any videos that you might like to watch in the future. So until then, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And I'll see you in the next one again, inshallah. Bye!